the reason why I've been feeling better again is because I've been validating to myself and also received validation from other people that this was really the experiences that I've had are actually real. So it's a little bit stressful today because yeah, sure, I can get into yesterday's Zen mode and I'm probably going to have to go there now to um, talk to this lady about her business and get into business mode and things like that. And because, yeah, I can talk like a normal person when I'm in that mode. But, I mean, am I just schizophrenic or what? Like, is there multiple personalities or something? Because when I'm really experiencing those things, they're really, really happening. They're really there. They're... They're as real as what I'm telling you now, like when I've got this self-doubt. This self-doubt is real. And all I have is the memory of how sure and certain I was that what I was experiencing was real then. So is this schizophrenia? You know, like let's donate my videos to science <laughs> and try and figure out why. Because... If I don't understand, if I can't trust my mind, where, what, what, how am I going to navigate this world? This is the, this is the problem. This morning's visions were, wasn't imagination, but the other ones were imagination, and I could tell the difference. Like, there's, it's like when you're making up a story, and you can make up the story, and you can, you know, dwell in that story that's different than getting this knowing and an understanding about it's it's different kind of experience and it's different than a dream and it's different than a idea and see now I'm full of self-doubt now but I, okay I'm gonna get it out anyway because I'm um, I just don't want it in me <laughs> So this morning's vision was this guy, when I'm with him, we are experiencing a shared reality where I lift him out of his reality and he brings me into his reality. And there's this shared reality where you're fully experiencing this shared reality. And then when I was in his reality, life was yuck his reality is so dark and depressing and stressful and full of grief and stress and shame and guilt and uh, nastiness and ego <laughs> and my reality at that time was angelic it was kindness seeing purpose in life loving people's souls seeing this tortured being and wanting to give him a taste of what reality can look like if you can experience this and that sounds crazy to me now from this space from whatever reality I'm experiencing now that sounds completely nutty <laughs> but that's exactly what I was I, I thought that I was there to help his soul and instead, the the angel got brought down to being this. Not that I'm not. I don't see them myself as an angel. I mean, you know, someone that's full of love and kindness and really has a lot of human compassion, and wanting to, uh, and and thinking at that time. I mean, I even made a website for the last couple of years, thinking at that time that I have the ability to raise people's vibrations where they do not need to experience this human suffering. And this is why I'm so tormented by this, is because if it's not real, I've pretty much wasted a couple of years in an illusion that isn't real. And all it will do is pull other people into an illusion, which will feel better for them for a while. But what if they then go through what I'm going through now and have this self-doubt, they lose it all, like I'm losing. Um, actually, I feel all right. <laughs> Apart from I feel like I've been punched in the gut after reading that um, the stuff this morning. I was like, whoa. So either my uh, parallel reality, dimensional theory, insight thingy is actually real and I'm, and I'm moving up that. Their vibrational frequencies, yada, yada, yada. If that's all real, 
not just good vibe, bad, bad vibe, but all these different, you know, multiple uh, frequencies, multiple, like a whole bunch of things. But have I, have I created such an uh, illusion for myself where, or am I actually receiving more information than my brain can humanly handle or what? You know, I don't understand. And so the, the, the vision I got this morning was that, that when I was with this guy, he was pulling me into his, his dimension. And that is then what I've been experiencing this because I didn't keep myself in my own uh, power, my own reality, my own truth, my own trust. Cause I started having self doubts about all this crazy stuff. And because I had start having, you know, I wanted to, wanted to be right, wanted to question everything, yada, yada, yada. Then I lost the ability to tap back into it. And then I'm experiencing his world, which was horrible and dark. And then as I've been, you know, contemplating getting back to my, you know, center the last couple, few days, I got to a place where I was like, well, this is really cool. I can let go of all of that and observe everything again from afar and be the observer again, be the awareness again, and be in a place where I'm not chasing highs and not avoiding lows and just being still. And that still feels, honestly, it feels true to me and I'm worried about my brain <laughs> because it still feels true. Yeah, I need to donate my videos to science. <laughs> study the hell out of this weird brain because I don't get it <laughs> and I'm trying to figure it out I actually really liked being in that spot where I was just observing being the observer again starting again but then I got those visions this morning I had a deep understanding again of where everything was and then reading those text things pulled me out of again because I then I'm like well, now it is absolutely, absolutely possible that it's all in my head because I went through so much and I could see the trauma in my message to myself as I was trying to figure out a way to feel better in that moment so that, and also it gave me the reason, you know, it gave me that, I could see that it was my purpose to to find the answers so that people didn't commit suicide and things like that. Like I could see, like my thing was before all that is that if people are thinking about committing suicide, why don't they just move town, you know, get away from all their problems. And I was actually living in that experience where I couldn't, my car was broken down, you know, I'd lost everything. I was, you know, in a place where people were telling me to leave. And I was like, I can't, I can't, I'm stuck. And uh, two years later, I'm still stuck, but I've got a better mindset. The only thing that's different between then and now is, you know, I now I have the van, and now I have, I now have ways out. I now, I now can leave town. But reading a note about suicide back then, which obviously I wasn't contemplating, but I, I was understanding why people would get so, feel so, so filled with pain, and that no one loved them, that they would be better off if they were dead. That victim, really that victim consciousness thing. And when I'm, I can reflect back on, on my videos and see the same thing, you know, when I'm in victim and when I'm victor, victim, victor, victim, victor. And it all was based on my perception and beliefs and what I was experiencing at that time. And Either I need to, and and also before I met that other, you know, July, you know, I was I was getting on the track of um, being that person that found a logical way for people to feel better, rather than going down in crazy land all the while experiencing these other experiences that I didn't understand. But I was thinking, well, to the public, I am going to just explain not this other stuff, but just explain how to feel better with the logic stuff so it can reach more people so that you didn't have to go down the path that I'm obviously going down now. <sighs> All right. Going to get back to my Zen place. Going to have a coffee. Going to sit down for a couple of hours with a lady and help her out. <laughs> Bye.